Hey guys, it's Alexis, aka The Soft Reader, and I'm here today to do a review video. No, I don't do very many of those, but I'm here to do a review on Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. I read this at the tail end of April and just had so many things I wanted to say. Um, spoiler alert, I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars, so basically this video is gonna be me just trying to tell you guys all the reasons that you should read it because I loved this book. So we'll just go ahead and get into it. Noteworthy is about our main character Jordan who is a Chinese American who comes from a very poor background and she's at this like all arts uh, focused high school called Kingsington and basically she's there for musical theater um, but she has a very unique voice for musical theater, and because of that she really doesn't get cast in pretty much any of the musicals she auditions for. And so the story starts off with her facing a pretty uh, upsetting rejection for this most recent musical, and around the same time she basically gets an email saying that the all-male a cappella group at her school, the Sharpshooters, is auditioning for an eighth member. Now, of course, the sharpshooters are an all-male a cappella group, so Jordan gets the idea to completely disguise herself as a boy and audition for this all-male a cappella group. And so it's basically um, about that, about her auditioning to be with the sharps and her joining the sharps and trying to keep her secret while also just really falling in love with this new family that she's joined. This is definitely a perfect blend of the movies Pitch Perfect, obviously, which have been a huge hit in recent years regarding a cappella, and She's the Man, which is a modern retelling of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night uh, that starred Amanda Bynes in Channing Tatum in the early 2000s. So if you liked either one of those movies, I promise you'll probably really like this one too. I absolutely loved our main character, Jordan. Um, I found her very funny, she was very sarcastic, um, but she also really, really was an empathetic character. I found her oftentimes putting herself in other people's shoes as she was trying to understand what it was like to be other people, um, and that was especially after her knee-jerk, you know, her first reaction to somebody would be negative, and then she would step back and be like, okay, but why am I thinking this way about this person? Why is this my preconceived notion about this person? And I found her honestly always trying to understand the people around her. Um, and I really liked that. I feel like that's such a small thing, but I don't think that's something we get a lot of in YA. I feel like a lot of our characters either like someone right away or dislike someone right away, and they don't really think about why it is they like or dislike somebody and why they like somebody, the reasons for it and stuff like that. So I really liked that Jordan felt like she was always putting herself in other people's shoes to try and understand the characters around her. And I really, that was a, a huge hit for me, was that I really liked that aspect of Jordan's character. Of course she is also really funny and I loved that. Jordan is also bisexual, but this isn't necessarily the story of her coming to terms with her sexuality. She's pretty much already accepted the fact that she's bisexual. So that just kind of comes up here and there when she's talking about her previous relationship. So it felt like a it felt like a very realistic representation of a bisexual character because Jordan, you know, she wasn't struggling figuring out that she liked both men and women. She already knew that. So it wasn't like a coming out storyline. It was already there for her and I really appreciated that as well. Another huge hit in this book for me was the Sharps. I absolutely love the Sharpshooters, the dynamics between all of them, um, how much they feel like just a big family, a group of seven brothers basically. Um, there were little individual dynamics between other Sharps as well. I loved the friendship between John Cox and Mama. I loved the friendship between Isaac and Trav. I really really liked how the freshmen kind of both had different personalities and reactions to being part of the Sharps. I really, really liked that. It felt like every character was individual. They definitely had their own characteristics, um, which means that their relationships with one another were completely individual. On another note, a thing that I think makes Noteworthy incredible is that this is one of the most realistic looking casts of characters I think I've ever read in a YA contemporary. Jordan is, of course, like I said, a Chinese-American. She's bisexual. One of the characters, Isaac, is a Japanese-American. There's a character in Nahal who is a chic man. There's a queer character. Actually, there's several queer characters. There's a huge discussion in here about the trans community when Jordan is doing research before she actually disguises herself as a boy and joins the Sharps. 
Um, and the, I love what was said about that where Jordan kind of has a moment of guilt where she's doing something and she she has that realization where for some people this is like their this is their lifestyle and so I really really liked that moment of discussion in this book and also Jordan's kind of epiphany regarding that. Uh, in this book too there is a rival between the sharpshooters and another all-male acapella group called the New York Minutes. Um, I really liked this rivalry. I liked how it culminated in kind of a prank style that slowly escalated, which I feel like is definitely a thing that can happen where you find things that just kind of start to get out of hand. So I liked how that was represented in Noteworthy. Um, I also really liked that the leader of this other acapella group, Connor, really felt like he had motivation for being like the bad guy character. Um, and that he was a character and a, a human and realistic character that had depth to him that like as you're kind of understanding more about his character you, you do kind of understand a little bit about why he behaves that way so I did really appreciate that as well um, I feel like especially in newer contemporaries we get these bad guy characters who don't really have that much depth to him which is interesting because contemporaries so often mirror reality so I, I thought that that was really interesting how the bad guy villainous character was played in this book. I absolutely loved all of the acapella and musical theater elements that were in this book. Um, it felt like Riley Redgate really did a lot of research regarding different things in especially musical theater like a lot of Jordan's classes um, are real musical theater classes. A lot of the projects and the plays she works on are real things that I have several friends in musical theater and I know for a fact I've heard them talk about these things. Um, a lot of the music that's talked about in here is music from a technical standpoint which I really really enjoyed coming from a family of musicians. It was a lot of stuff that I could understand that I could pinpoint exactly what she was talking about. So I really appreciated that. It felt like Riley Redgate knew what she was talking about, that she completely understood the things that she was talking about, that she did the research for it, and so I really appreciated that as someone who, you know, does have an interest in music and musical theater, it felt very realistic for me. The one critique I have, the reason that this didn't get a full 5 out of 5 stars for me, is that for some of these side characters I do wish we had gotten just a little bit more from. We get a couple of lines here and there that kind of describe their character but I really wanted more for them. Um, several of the sharps included in that were Eric. Um, it kind of never really explained why he behaved the way he did. He kind of has a pompous attitude about him and I kind of wish that we had just gotten a little bit more from his character. And the other freshman Marcus, we kind of seen that he kind of has that like puppy character where he just really wants to please everybody and that really was pretty much the extent of his character so I do kind of wish we had gotten a little bit more from him. There are some of Jordan's friends, female friends, that are mentioned but honestly you couldn't tell any of them apart. They really aren't big characters at all, it's just Jordan mentioning them but that kind of also just made them feel incredibly unnecessary because Jordan's mentioning these like five female friends she has and they're mentioned, one girl is mentioned in like the first three chapters and never shows up in the book ever again. Several other friends of hers were friends before she came to Kensington and so they basically didn't really have any personality at all and so I kind of don't understand why they weren't just morphed into like one character or why they were really included at all. So that's the only reason I didn't give this book a full 5 out of 5 stars is just because a lot of the minor and side characters I just wish we had gotten a tiny bit more from. Um, but overall, I still do really, really love this book. I think this was a fantastic read. I think a lot of people will really, really enjoy this book, um, and I urge you guys to check it out. Noteworthy comes out tomorrow on May 2nd, so I highly urge you all to go out and buy it. Alright guys, so that was my video. You guys should let me know down below what was an interesting read you guys have recently read, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!